Just one thing. Beep, beep, beep. Just one thing. Beep, 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 beep. In the pocket, in the pocket, in the pocket. We're Jungle Opera Beats, and we're here to review the, the newest opera, Symphony in Town. And this means we're reviewing another unknown artist by the name What's of... What's your name first, mate? Oh, well, my name is Alexander yeah, Sandars. Don't you fucking forget your name, you fucking beautiful cunt. I'm Alexander, man. <laughs> like anyway. your motherfuckers give a shit. <laughs> uh, we've got a Patreon uh, by the name of Steven. And Steven recently subscribed, and he's submitting a hip-hop artist that he represents by the name of Rain Raps. Thank you, Steven. Who is a California rapper from Inglewood. Now, to give you some background on this artist, but before we do, if you want us to review your music, go on patreon.com forward slash jungle beats. Mm -hmm. We'll do it for you and make a video like this. Give us your honest perspective. Keep it jiggy. Anyway, Rain Raps is no stranger to the spotlight. With 2017 being his biggest year, his most recent single, All My Worries, was featured on Spotify's Fresh Finds playlist and is currently featured on Fresh Finds Best of 2017. Oh, breaking over 172,000 plays. That's big. Nice. That's big. With a blend of unbridled charisma, infectious hooks, and witty wordplay, Rain Raps' brand of rap soul funk reaches an ever-growing audience, Ooh. especially with the help of blog and radio features such as DJ Booth, Ear Milk Ooh. and BBC One Extra. Damn, DJ Booth and Ear Milk are two very big bloggers. So you know, we get someone who's got some uh, some yeah, heat man. onto their their. Belly. That's a really smart write-up too. Like it doesn't say I'm Drake big; it just says I'm doing waves in the underground. That's, right. a, that's a smart write-up, and it may, he makes it sound like I honestly just want to listen to him now. It's a really that's a really appealing buy, and a really smart way of going about it. And this is smart, man. I think it's smart for artists to come out for channels. I think every unknown artist who wants to get bigger should go to channels like ours bigger than ours and do this and email them and say I'd like to be a, on your review our music mm -hmm. smart man we're doing it right now are we? Rain no, Raps cut, cut the camera we done oh shit sorry <laughs> no Rain Raps Perfect People produced by Santos Santano Santana sorry I'm excited man my dick's ready my anal beads are ready oh my anal I'm beads are always up. ready Very chance rapper. Yeah. Give me the production. Good pickup. Great beat, great hook, great verses. Very, very similar to another artist. Man, it's a ca it's a very catchy song, man. It's 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 very nice. It is. It's a good song. It's a great song. But but like the first comment says, sounds exactly like Chance the Rapper. Is that actually what the first comment says? But it sounds exactly like his it little does. bro, Taylor Bennett. Yep, it sounds. I was about to say the same thing. It sounds exactly the same like Taylor. He sounds exactly the same as Taylor Bennett. Now, have you heard Taylor Bennett? Yeah, I have a little it bit. It actually sounds like Taylor Bennett. <sighs> that's that's the. Okay, let's before we get to that. It's a dope song by itself. Before we go into the negatives, all positives. Great message. 
Great positive uplifting feel. Great vibe. The beat is really well mastered. Yep. Love the whistling. Love the drums. Love the keys. Love his vocals. Great. Love the verses. Love the hook. Everything about this song screams positivity and likeness. There's nothing I can hate in it besides that one thing. It's a great summery vibe. It's um... Yeah, great summer jam. Just one thing. Uh, if I would critique it before we get into the sound, um, my critique would be switch up the flow at some point. Um, even though it's not too long, uh, that would be my, if you want to really refine that track, refine that sound, switch it up, give me something a little more engaging towards the middle and end. But beside that, obviously, he sounds like one of the most popular, unique rappers that we have. Mm. Chance and, and his brother Taylor. Yeah, it's weird. He had more of a Chance, Chance's style, but he had Taylor's voice. It's as if, it's as if they had a middle brother. Now... How do you think if if this if that he came out before Chance and Taylor, it would be different. The thing is though, did he did he have this style before Chance, or do you reckon he got influenced by Chance and he adapted to that? I don't know, man. Um, but either way, I could I can never listen to this song without thinking he sounds like Chance, right. which ruins it for me. Like the fact that you've you've worn this this um, this person so strongly in your sleeve through your music. But he may legitimately sound like this. Like that's he the may. thing. We don't know. Everyone's I want to look voice. up an interview and find out because it may, it may give me some peace of mind because I want to go and listen to this song again because this is a great song. I want to listen to it. But every time I'm going to listen to this song and as great as it is, all I'm going to be thinking of is this sounds like Chance. So the question is, like why would someone go to this artist compared to listening to Chance or Taylor who have a solid discography behind them? Yep. Acid Rap's, in my opinion, one of the best albums in hip-hop so, ever made. So why would they listen to this person over them? You shouldn't. You that's should, that's the problem that we see problem. as, as, as reviewers. But I think that I've said it before. I've said that like if you're going to copy someone's sound, you have to do it amazingly for people to take notice. Yeah, and yeah. people have taken notice. Yeah, I feel like because this artist has done this sound so fucking well. Agreed. Then he can get away with it. Like honestly, this guy will make fans because people like this sound. And there's always going to be people like us that will notice too much of him sound like someone else. But because he does it so well, he can make it. He can make it doing this sound because of how good he is at it. But not to well, everyone. What define make it? Get big, get followers, make money, support, do shows. It's true. There's a lot of artists out there that'll that get that either get big from being unique or big from stealing someone's sound and doing it better or just as good. Right. I mean, we've heard one song. We don't know if he sounds like this entirely. So, um, yeah. Beside that, it's a great track uh, by itself. And by putting the comparisons aside, it's very solid. So, um, thanks, Stephen. Thanks yeah. for the thanks for the track. It was actually a really fun track to review. I really enjoyed it. It was nice to go into it a fair bit. Yep. And uh, thanks for being a patron. If you want to enjoy the Jungle Beats, be a patron as well. Um, got all the offers up on the screen now. And we'd love to have you part of the family. We have a Discord chat where we talk about music. Yeah. Uh, if you pay ten dollars a month or more, we can review an artist which you did so much as we did here with Stephen. And it'd be good to have you on board with the fam community man mm -hmm. thank you for rocking with us and thank you uh steven and rain um love to hear more if you continue to support us we'd love to dive in a little more and see what else you got oh yeah we jungle beats boom chaka laka boom scoopity doopity poopity doo scoopity poopity doopity shoopity doo scoopity doopity scoopity shoopity